So in 2020, I decided to finally launch and build a paid online community. But then came the big decision, what do I use? There's so many tools out there for building online communities and memberships. I don't think there's a right or wrong tool to use. I did a lot of research. I played around with a lot of tools and I'm so glad that I ended up choosing. Before we get to that, let me take a quick drink of coffee. Ah, yes, Circle. Circle is what I chose to build my online community, which is a paid premium community for my students and audience of web designers. There's a lot of reasons and a lot of features that I love about Circle. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 main features that I love about Circle. So let's dive into my community, which is called Web Designer Pro, which for me, I needed a platform that was going to serve my members in the way of coaching so I could coach them directly with live calls and office hours and trainings, community forums that were built for community. And I wanted to be able to have my courses included here too, so they could just have a one-stop shop, an all-in-one platform. Circle has allowed me to do just that. So my 10 favorite features, starting with number one, the design of Circle itself, the UX, the user experience. I'm in dark mode right now, but you could go to light mode if you prefer that. The design of Circle, as far as the experience that my members have and I have as a community leader and as an admin is second to none. Again, I tried a lot of different platforms. They were all janky or slow, or they had to be paired alongside with WordPress or something. Circle is an all-in-one solution, which means I don't need to worry about anything. I just run my community. I love how it's laid out, even from just the homepage with the feed itself, upcoming events that you have, trending posts. It's kind of like Facebook meets LinkedIn, meets a uh, learning management system, and even Slack because you can create chat channels as well right natively here in Circle. So the design itself and the UX, feature number one that I absolutely love about Circle. Feature number two here are the spaces that you see here on the left. Now you can create and customize these however you would like. And what's really cool about this is Circle allows me to have a community forum with different types of discussions. So for example, in my community web designer pro, we have one for general discussions, wins and successes, a place for member accountability. And these are spaces kind of a grid, but you'll also notice under coaching, I have a space for trainings. And these look a little bit different. These have kind of a card view with thumbnails on them. So you can really customize the layout and look of your circle spaces to whatever you want. Any space you create in circle, you can go into customize, and then you can now go down here and choose what type of layout you want this space to be in, a feed or a grid list, or as you see in this case, kind of a card view. And it makes it so that you can make the experience that works for you and your members to again, keep them coming back over and over and over and over again. The spaces was a big selling point for me with Circle. Number three here, my third favorite feature of Circle is the live stream feature. So I can go live natively in Circle. I can do this as a scheduled event, which we'll look at next. I can also create a live room with like a smaller group, which is kind of like Zoom meetings. You'll just have people with their, with their cameras if they want them on in kind of a room setting. Or I could do a live stream, which is kind of a webinar style call. These are great for Q and A's, trainings, workshops, presentations. I have a variety of different lives to choose from here as far as live modes. And then I can connect them with events which is my fourth favorite feature of Circle. The events are great because I'll just walk you through. This is a look at upcoming calls and events we have. So if I were to have some in-person events or meetups, they'll show up here as well. But I can categorize them in whatever space I would like. So for example, I can create a new event. We'll call this test event. And I can select where I would like this to be. Now, when we looked at the spaces, you can actually select spaces as event spaces. So I can either put events in upcoming calls or this community hangout. Now, if I wanted to have a place for in-person meetups, I could have an entire space dedicated to that. So it's really cool. And then I can select the, the location, either in person, an external link like a Zoom or a YouTube live stream, or as I showed you, the circle live stream feature or the room feature. Now the room feature is interesting because as you see here, we have another space in my personal community, this is what works for us, where we have members have weekly hangouts. So you'll see here, this space is just dedicated to the weekly hangouts for my members to come meet each other and network, do work together. And these are actually hosted by members. So I'm not even personally on these calls. This upcoming call is hosted by Ed, one of my members. So 
It's so cool because under events, you'll see all the events in person, member calls, hangouts, Q and A's. But if I only go to the calls with myself, these are only going to show the ones that I'm involved with. So you can really customize your circle and your community experience to work for you. The next feature for me, which was an absolute game changer, is the course feature. So I have a suite of courses, and they are now housed natively right here inside of Web Designer Pro. So members can get access to not only the coaching and the community aspects, but now all my courses. And as the course creator, one thing that's so cool about this, if we go into the course dashboard here for this one, you can see your students' progress, and the builder itself is super user-friendly and easy to use. I can go into each individual lesson and module and customize it the way I want. If I go into this one, you'll have the option to post videos that could be stored elsewhere like Vimeo or YouTube or Wistia or upload them here directly. You can create your entire your entire post for the videos. You can add files here. And on the front end, it looks like this for your students with whatever you have included here with the entire course sidebar here to keep them on track. Anything in the way of comments, additional resources here, the lessons, and even files if you choose to include downloads for a particular lesson. The course feature, absolute game changer and just made the value of my community 100x the value because now all of my courses are native inside circle. When I'm doing live calls, when I'm doing coaching in, in community work, I can just find a lesson and link it over to them. They don't need to buy a course separately or find it elsewhere. They're already here. The big three C's for me are the biggie coaching, the community and my courses all together in circle was a game changer when they added the course feature. Now circle has native paywall. So you can go in here and I can set up an entire paywall that is multi-tiered. You could create different levels of access, different price points, all right here natively within Circle. So I don't need to use a third-party extension or plugin for this. It's awesome. So for me personally, Web Designer Pro, at the time of recording this, is an all-access plan. And there's two different options. You can go annual at this price point or monthly at this price point. And people can choose that when they go to the checkout page. So when somebody goes to join my community, this is what they see, the monthly option or the annual option. And it's all done inside of Circle with their payment gateway that's native. Now I'm going through these pretty quickly. I'm just giving you a brief look at Circle and some of my favorite features, but don't worry, I have more in-depth resources for you. Below, you're gonna find a link to an in-depth walkthrough of my community Web Designer Pro and how Circle is helping me make it what it is today a quarter million recurring income community at the time of recording this. I've also got a tutorial to help guide you through setting your own circle up step-by-step. Step. It's a beginner's tutorial. Both of those are linked below for you. A few more features I love here about circle. Number seven, custom profile field. So you can go in to your member profile fields and you can customize these. That way members can fill out certain choices that are perfect for you and your community. So for example, I have one, since I teach web designers, I have a field for website platform of choice, a builder of choice, specialties, uh, pro specialties that they're really good at, and if they're open to working with other members of my community. And what that looks like is right here. On a profile, you will see all the details they wanna fill out, and then these custom fields that I've set up, people can fill out here in their profile field, and this is searchable. So if I wanted to hire a website designer here in Pro who uses WordPress, I can search WordPress and every profile that has WordPress as a platform of choice is gonna pop up. It's really, really cool. Let's actually do it real quick. I'm in my members directory. And if I go in here and if I wanna add a filter, I could search for website platform of choice. And I could say is WordPress. Now I'm gonna see every member here in Pro who uses WordPress that I could potentially connect with, partner up with, et cetera. So a lot of great features all to do with that custom profile field option. Another biggie that's more new for Circle here are the workflows. Workflows are great because it allows you, I'll go to a new workflow, to bypass a separate email software or CRM if you want to. You can still use one. I still use one for some stuff, but I'm able to do a lot natively in Circle. Onboarding emails, welcome messages, paywall messages, reminders, engagement. If somebody hasn't logged in in a while, I can set this up to automatically ping them and email them and DM them. And I use this personally to connect with my community, community as a whole via DM right here. I could send a bulk message 
to every member of Web Designer Pro. I could use this template and then I can customize it from there. I could say, yep, every member here in Pro is going to get this direct message. And then I can send everyone a message. It looks like it came from me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, but I've actually just sent everybody in the community a personal message, or you could customize this however you would like. Now let's talk about Circle as a company real quick, because when I look for a tool, I not only look at the tool itself to make sure I like it, but there's two other aspects that I look for. I look for the community and making sure there's a community behind the tool to have support if I get stuck or want to partner up with other people. Circle has an entire customer community. Not many software companies have this to where they are doing events, they do live showcases. I've been on in a couple times sharing what I'm showing you here with some of the things that I love about Circle and how I'm using it. And it's all here in the Circle community. So you are never stuck, you are never alone. And I'm in here too. So when you join Circle, you'll see me here in the Circle community. They have live events, summits, extra training. It's just really become an incredible place and it's just the customers for Circle. And then there's the company themselves. One reason I love Circle, since 2020 when I signed up for them, is I signed up right when they were brand new, right out of beta. They have got better and better and better and better. They continue to innovate. They continue to share the roadmap ahead. And that's all under here. You can look at the product space in the Circle customer community. And they have a very diligent monthly report about what was listed in their updates. So you can actually see month to month all the improvements they've made over the years. And they actually have a roadmap that you can look at which currently is a Notion document. I'll link this below to make sure you can check this out. I think this is somewhere in the community, but uh, yeah, they've done a really good job at like sharing what's ahead on new features. And so that way you can plan accordingly and tease your community with what's ahead to make the experience better for them. So that's a quick look at the top 10 features that I love about Circle. Let me give you a bonus real quick because this is kind of a hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about. This is also a great way to kind of test out Circle if you're not fully committed yet. But if you didn't know, you could go in here. If I go into settings, embed, I can embed my entire Circle community or parts of a Circle community, like one of the spaces in another website. So I could take this code, I could share, I could put in here what space I want to embed and I could drop this over in, for example, a WordPress website, just to have the community aspect as a part of a bigger site on a different platform. Yet another reason that Circle is just awesome. Now to help you, I've got some additional resources, two videos for you below. One is a step-by-step -step beginner's tutorial walking you through how to build your own circle for you and your membership and your community. And then I've also got a more in-depth look at Web Designer Pro. And I'm gonna share with you in a very detailed way how I'm using Circle to build this community to keep engagement high and to keep churn under 3%, which is incredible, but it's a testament to my amazing members. And Circle has fostered this amazing community. Those are both linked for you below. And if you want to try Circle out today, you can get a free 14-day trial right here. Just go to joshhall.co slash circle, and that'll zip you over here where you can nab up your free 14-day trial. I hope this has helped you decide whether or not Circle is a good fit for you. Again, since 2020, when they came out, I decided to take a chance on it, and I have never looked back. I think it's one of the best decisions I've ever made for me and my business. My community at the time of recording this is closing in on a quarter million dollar recurring revenue annual part of my business. And it's all thanks to Circle. I really can't recommend enough. So check it out. Go to joshhall.co slash circle. Enjoy your free 14-day trial and I'll see you in Circle.